Tana is, a, is an app I've been looking at to Traitor, see what it can do. Just use Apple Notes. It is not a finished app by any means, but it looks good, has some good features, and a great development team. Just tell me the issues so I don't have to learn another app. Well, these are subject to change. Get on with it. It is cloud-based, doesn't support markdown, so things like headings and numbered lists aren't there, and then some other things that I will go over. Spill it. No, I'm going to go over them as I go through the app, but I will miss things, things will get updated, and I know Obsidian way better than I do Tana, so it will be biased. So? In Tana, you have an account which gives you access to different workspaces. Like Obsidian, but different vaults. Not quite the same, because Tana is online, so sharing workspaces is just much easier. But you can use Collaborative Sync with Obsidian or GitHub. True, but GitHub is a bit technical for some people. Collaborative Live Sync has some uh, merge conflict issues when you're editing on the same page, and they're just issues Tana doesn't have. Okay, but for personal use? No, no, it doesn't impact personal use at all, from what I can see. So, what is the sidebar thing all about? Well, you have a homepage in Tana, which is really the only true page you get. I feel like there's going to be a lot of jargon in this. Uh, to, to keep it simple, you have a homepage to every workspace, which is shown in the sidebar. Kind of like a folder in Obsidian. But each workspace has its own schema. Set of tags. Library. List of unlinked files. Settings. Like a different vault. Members option for collaboration. Like a different folder. And then options for sharing, downloading, or leaving workspaces. So more like vaults, not folders. Then across the top you have the backwards and forward buttons. Obsidian has that. A collapse button. Obsidian has that on both sides. Yeah, Tana only has one side panel. Then a button to go to today's daily node. Tana has customizable hotkeys, just not as many as Obsidian. Yet. There is a quick add button which allows you to add things quickly to your daily node. Just like the quick add plugin in Obsidian. Yes, but not as powerful or as customizable. I see there is search. Yeah, just the one type of search. So it puts page and block search together. Tana is built on node, so every bullet point is a block and a page. I'm guessing there's a benefit to that I'm not seeing because that just seems, like, really confusing. You can expand any bullet to make it its own page. Just open a file. You can zoom in on any bullet point and see the indented bullets underneath it. Just toggle the other points shut or don't look at them. Each node can be individually referenced. Like the block ID in Obsidian. Yes, but it doesn't matter what node it's indented underneath. So the block ID doesn't break when you move the block between files. Exactly. Why would I need to move the block between pages? Because of your workflow. Do you have an example? No, because I'm an Obsidian user and don't understand it myself. Cue the comment section. What this means for search is every node you write is searched through. Doesn't that slow down the search results? Yes. Can you reduce the indexing? Not to my knowledge. So every single line I write will be searched every time I search for a page. Yes. I have thousands of lines. Search may not be your friend. What else you got for me? Well, there are preferences you can add to it. Like... Daily tips, the sidebar, completed items, dark mode. So the settings in Obsidian. Tabs view, importing... Wait, like, like tabs, tabs. No, database, like, tabs, in the query view thing. What? I'll go over it later. There is also a show reference counter, which Obsidian doesn't have. Actually, it does. There was a plugin that does that already, but there's actually someone working on a plugin for the October event, so that should be coming out at some point soon as well. It won't embed the nodes into the page, though. I wouldn't want it to. I would want it in a side panel or in another tab or pane or pop-out window. Tana has that, albeit a little quirky at the moment. Are they independent panels? Not yet. Can you adjust the size? Not yet. Can you create a pop-out window? This app is still in development and won't have all the features Obsidian has. Okay, just asking. So the daily notes are underneath the calendar node with a super tag. Template. Super tag. 
you can add the tag and it automatically adds the field information to the node. Just like activating a template. No, because when you add a super tag, all the information in the super tag changes for past and future instances. Okay, that's pretty cool. Although I don't see when I would need that because most of the things in my template are metadata information which I can edit automatically through database folder or headings. Field information and nodes. But no headings. No. So how do you jump up and down larger pages without an outline? Well, you can put a node link in the... No, no, I'm not faffing around with putting links like I do in WordPress so I can go up and down pages. Then maybe that is something they will develop in the future. I hope so. You can add colours to the super tag. I can add colours to tags in Obsidian. But you don't get a description of the tag. Why do I need to describe things like note, source, book, person... I think it's pretty obvious. Not if you're working with others. I think we can agree to disagree on that. Okay, but the fields you can add in Tana are... Are the same as all the other apps. Yeah. So, the live queries are pretty amazing. That is the database query, live query sort of thing, right? Yeah, you can view things in a table, in a list, in cards, and using tabs. Calendar? No, not yet. Obsidian. Yeah, I guessed. Obsidian has that. I mean, just saying. Does it have sorts, filters, and, and nice pretty buttons? Yes, yes, and group filters, which I don't think Tana has from what I can see. But with the fancy button thing, it depends what theme you're using. Okay, well... Oh yeah, no themes or CSS snippets in Tana yet. Stop insulting Tana. I'm not. I'm just emphasising the fact that Tana is a development app, so comparing it to something like Obsidian, Rome, Logseek, or any other established app is, is, is just silly. Okay. Fair. I can get with that. So, what about this live query language? Well, it's easier than data view. Nice. What about the task plugin? Yeah, it's basically the same as that plugin. Right. So, the most common query I use is basically the same. Yep. Do the tasks have default fields on them, like the task plugin? If you add a super tag and then configure those fields in the super tag, yes. Any chance there are reminders in Tana yet, like Obsidian? No, not yet. But you can edit all the field information in the task, like adding recurring events and things like that. Yeah, because they are nodes with field information, but there are no recurring tasks yet. But the linking is easy. Yeah, backlinks are shown at the bottom of the node. Page. Not anywhere else. Well, in the node reference counter. Right. And outgoing links? No. But the links in Tana are not links, they're references. Just saying. References, links, same thing. Okay. What does the graph or local graph view look like? Don't have that yet. Any good backup solutions? Well, it is cloud-based, so... So it works just like Notion and Rome, hidden away somewhere. It does require some trust from the users. I am an Obsidian user. Local only. Except from the fact you publish all your notes online. That is different. Not all my notes are public. And I'm in full control of what people see, what people don't see. And they can't edit anything that I have. But, but nothing. Mobile or tablet slash iPad app? Not yet. Okay, these super tags that are like templates but not templates, can I use them as a starting point for my writing pages? Yeah, of course. But isn't everything a node? Yes. But how do I add a node in between the nodes of the super tag template? Oh, no, you can't do that yet. So super tags are more like property templates because you can't put nodes in between nodes. Well, you can do lots with field information. I will put that in the under development pile. Well, as you've said, the app is still in development and it's not a finished app yet. Exactly. But as a thought, this node thing, as I don't see it changing anytime soon because it's kind of the whole point of the app, how do you deal with duplicate nodes? Well, why would you have duplicate nodes? To outline a page so I don't have to scroll for days trying to find the things like having a, an introduction section, a background section, a conclusion section. Yeah, just don't look for that in search. Of course. <laughs> well, Tana is an outliner app. Right. And Obsidian is a word processor that allows you to do most of the outline stuff. A basic outliner? But still an outliner. I think we can leave that for the comments to argue about.
Yeah. Hopefully this video has come across as entertaining and educational, because that was the intent. This app has a lot of promise and a lot of potential as a collaborative outliner app, but I'm not a big fan of outliner tools because I like to be able to write things, uh, and my collaboration is done through GitHub because I like the version history. I also like being able to have branches of different changes when I'm working in bigger groups of people, and the collaboration element, like the conversation stuff, happens in a Discord server because that's what the... Discord is full. So if you couldn't tell, I'm not switching to Tana, but it could be useful for some people's use cases. I just don't see how it would personally benefit me.